Let's make a painted rock of a hedgehog together. Let's start by gathering our supplies. Firstly, you will need a protective cover for the table. You can use old newspaper, scrap paper, an old placemat, an old towel, or an old sheet. Next, you will need a rock. An oval or oblong shaped rock works well. Next time you're out for a walk, hunt for a rock of this shape. When you find it, bring it home, wash it in water to get all the dirt off, and then let it air dry. Next, you will need acrylic paint in the colors of beige and brown. You will also need a black marker. There are acrylic paint markers as well as the permanent Sharpie marker. You also need to gather your painting tools. You can use a paintbrush that is fine tipped or broad tipped. You can use Q-tips or to work on your fine motor skills, pieces of either a pom-pom, cotton ball, or sponge placed in the tip of a clothespin. Lastly, make sure you have your cleaning supplies on hand. You could use a cup filled with water to help clean your brushes, and paper towels are always good to have on hand in case of spills. After setting up your workplace, it is now time to turn your rock into this beautiful hedgehog. Let's begin. Now it's time to paint with brown. Orient your rock so that it is taller more than it is wider. Then squeeze a little bit of paint onto a plastic Ziploc bag. Take your broad tipped brush, dip it in the brown paint, and then paint the top two thirds of your rock. Slightly arch the bottom line as shown and practice making paint strokes that go from left to right, the same direction that we print in. Then using a fine tip paintbrush, dip the brush into the brown paint and paint the lower tip of the rock brown as shown here. Let it air dry completely. Now we're gonna paint with a tanner beige paint. Again, I pour a little bit onto the Ziploc bag and using a broad based or broad tipped brush, dip the brush into the paint and fill in the lower one third of the rock that is yet to be painted. This will make the head of the hedgehog. Again, practice making strokes from left to right. When you're done, let it air dry. Using a permanent black marker or a black paint marker, draw two circle black eyes onto the tanned head of your hedgehog, just as shown. Lastly, take your black marker and make upside down V's in rows in the upper brown area of your hedgehog. These are the quills of the hedgehog. Try to stagger the upside down V's as shown below. This completes your hedgehog. What a beautiful job you did. I hope you enjoyed making your painted hedgehog rock. If you did and you'd like to do more, check out our videos on how to make a painted ladybug rock and a painted bumblebee rock. Bye for now.